Thanks for plugging in. Today, we're talking excellence with TE Connectivity and the Interconnect Specialists from TTI ip e It's the news, information, and detail you need to know to stay informed about the latest innovations in all types of electronics connectivity. And now, here's your host, TTI's Scott Stimley. Thanks, Jim, and hello, everybody. Great having you tuning in to our newest series, Talking Excellence with TE and TTI. I'm your host, Scott Stemley, Director of Supplier Marketing for TTI. In Episode 2 of our TE Connectivity Series on Aerospace, Defense, and Marine Solutions, I'm joined by John Holder, TTI Technical Marketing Manager, and Eric Weingartner, Product Manager for Solid State Relays at TE Connectivity. John, happy you could join us today. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your background? Yes, I'm the uh, TTI's Technical Marketing Manager for Electromechanical and Sensor Products. Uh, My 40 years plus experience in the electronics industry includes sales and marketing roles for several switch, relay, and sensor manufacturers. And I've been with TTI for 12 years in the supplier and technical marketing roles. Great. Thank you. And welcome, Eric. Thank you for joining us today. Tell us about your career journey and the work you do at TE. Thanks, Scott. It's great to be here today. Uh, My journey with TE started 23 years ago, and I was a design engineer for some of our larger electromechanical contactor products. And then I had an opportunity to move out in the field, uh, in the field application role, where I covered the entire breadth of our relays portfolio. And it got me all around the globe, uh, meeting with customers and, and discussing new opportunities and applications for the relays products. At that point, I had an opportunity to come back into the business office as a product manager, uh, once again, for the Hartman brand of contactors, and uh, moved up and over. Now I cover our high voltage side of the portfolio, which is inclusive of solid state as well as electromechanical products. And uh, it's really an exciting space to be in at this point as we're looking at the electrification of everything and and, and high power really coming into play. So I'm really excited to be here with you and John today. Thanks, Eric. Let's begin by exploring some of the high-speed switching challenges uh, TE faces when designing solid-state relays for aerospace and defense. Sure, that's a great question. Uh, and I'll, I'll just set a little bit of a context for solid-state switching speed. So when we talk about that with our products, we're really talking about the order of microseconds versus what has historically been milliseconds in the electromechanical world. So that's a that's a 1000 X uh, difference. It's a whole order of magnitude change. And uh, one of the biggest challenges when you're moving things that fast, right, turning on and off that quickly, is as you have high power and lots of energy that, that may actually uh, either quickly move into uh, an, an empty capacitor bank, for example, uh, when you first turn on a circuit, uh, that's something that could have a very, very huge current draw and do so very quickly, a huge inrush that would be associated with charging up those capacitors very quickly. Um, so we will have to meet a challenge of a soft on function, which means that we'll precharge the capacitors up to a a certain safe level before closing the main switch into that circuit. And a similar challenge is with turning off uh, a circuit that has that much power and energy uh, stored in that circuit. Uh, We we also have to take a little bit of care that we don't do so too quickly. With the capabilities of solid state, uh, as I mentioned, we could do that within microseconds. Uh, But there's, and, and depending on what's in the circuit, and how much energy is in there and stored in there, um, the the rate with which we change the current in time, if we do that too quickly, that can cause unwanted disruptions in the system and in the circuit. So we'll also work to achieve a soft off function as well. Um, Those are some of the challenges with high speed switching. So why is high speed switching so important? What does it really matter between milliseconds and microseconds? Excellent question. Um, and this becomes particularly acute in the high power applications that we're talking about today. It's where you have much more energy in the circuit, and all that energy can be dumped into a fault 
So if there happened to be a, a nicked wire or some other uh, cause of a short circuit, there is a lot of energy that could be dumped very quickly into that fault. And that energy can do a lot of damage in a very short period of time. So a solid state device that can turn the circuit off within microseconds is actually able to prevent all that damage from occurring. An electromechanical device could never achieve that. So how does your high power uh, solid state relays differ from your from TE's typical industrial solid state relays? Yeah, with the high power, uh, we utilize silicon carbide as our semiconducting material versus uh, pure silicon, which is used in a lot of uh, industrial applications. The silicon carbide offers several advantages over silicon, particularly in high power, high temperature applications. Silicon carbide exhibits higher thermal conductivity, it can withstand significantly higher voltages, and it operates at higher temperatures without performance degradation. This really translates into more energy efficient, smaller, lighter, and more reliable devices. So, so you've mentioned the, the advantages of solid state relays uh, over electromechanical. Uh, are there any heat considerations to, to be uh, considered? Yes, absolutely. Um, so one of the challenges of solid state technology is that the semiconducting material tends to be a little more resistive and therefore it, it, it drops uh, more voltage. And what that means is it simply produces more watts of heat. However, uh, one of the advantages of the silicon carbide that we are utilizing in our uh, solid state power controllers, the higher power products, is that it does have a relatively low on resistance. And now it's not quite the same as an electromechanical device, but it's down to an efficiency level that's, that's quite tenable. We're able to utilize it. And um, another way that we address that challenge is by having some heat sinks and we model in um, paths for heat to be conducted out from the device in order to manage the thermal situation there. So, so you mentioned their use in, in uh, power distribution units. Uh, how many channels are, th are th these PDUs available in? So when it comes to the PDUs, we custom design a power distribution unit to have as many channels as the customer may need. And uh, we excel in packaging all of the distribution whatever that distribution might be. It could be 10 channels, 20 channels, five channels, uh, but we excel in packaging all of that for optimal performance under electrical load profiles. Each of those channels is going to have uh, so much current that's going to be flowing through it based on the load profile of that vehicle or aircraft. And uh, so we optimize for those load profiles as well as environmental conditions such as high altitude, low and high temp, uh, EMI, electromagnetic interference that, that may all, the, the aircraft may also be subjected to or the vehicle, or even high shock and vibration. All of those considerations have to fold back into just how it is that we package the distribution into a PDU. Thanks, Eric. Um, so we know that TE, uh, you know, with the breadth of products that you guys offer, um, you know, it goes into a variety of applications from rockets and launch vehicles to EVATOL and other types of aircraft. How do you match up the different applications with the right switches and relays for the application? Yes, I, I, I would like to say with all those applications you mentioned, I'd just like to emphasize we are seeing an exciting adoption curve underway surrounding high power solid state. What started out in the, the mill aero fixed wing market, we're now seeing rolling out to rotary wing, EVITOLs, military ground vehicles, naval, and even getting into calm air markets. So it's really an exciting time for solid state, particularly in that high power arena, uh, as I mentioned. But we match up our solutions based on those power requirements in particular. And when I say that, um, we're talking volts and amps. The semiconducting material itself is going to have a certain voltage rating. If a customer would come along and have a, a higher voltage requirement, 
that will drive us into a different uh, material that will have a higher standoff rating. And so that helps us select the types of, of products and design approaches and other features as well, such as whether bi-directional switching uh, would be required. When I say that, I think of a battery that may need to charge and discharge. So current will be flowing in both directions. Uh, that's a, a feature that may be required as well as trip curve performance. Maybe a customer has a special trip curve that they would like us to, to provide for them. And, and as aforementioned, the environmental requirements may drive us into uh, one type of solution versus another. Great. Um, so I guess kind of related, you know, what do you see as future applications as we move into different types or newer types of propulsion, electric aircraft, uh, new types of spacecraft, drones, et cetera? Yes. What I see is um, more and more electric and hybrid electric uh, propulsion. And as we elect, continue to electrify more and more, uh, we, we see these power levels continuing to go up. So I would see voltage levels continuing to, to rise. And this brings challenges of isolating that voltage, um, being able to handle that voltage in a safe and a reliable manner. Um, and once again, having the, the semiconducting material that's going to be able to stand off and, and effectively switch that higher voltage. Got it. Got it. And, and I trust with these, uh, you know, with these solutions, there's, uh, there, there's mil specs that have to be met or standards uh, that these relays will be built to meet. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Uh, our solid state relays that we have, and we've had it in the market for, for some decades now, those are designed to meet the M28750 uh, mil spec, or there are also various DESI drawings that those will be designed in accordance to. But then the larger solid state power controllers will be designed in accordance to a customer specification. Got it. Got it. Well, that was very interesting. Uh, Eric, do you have any other comments or uh, uh, thoughts that uh, the audience may want to hear about? I'll just uh, I'll just close by reiterating that we're really in an exciting time. We are seeing uh, electrification going on in a very big way all throughout our aerospace and defense and marine markets. And um, we've got exciting technology, uh, and we look forward to uh, to working with you on these solutions going forward. It's it, it, it's going to be um, a tremendous opportunity for us, and we're very excited about it. Yes, we we are as well. Uh, John, is there anything else that you'd like to add? Not at this time. I'm I'm very excited about the new possibilities in the products that T is introducing and. Even as excited to see some of the potential applications that they will go into. Great. Thank you, John. And again, thank you, Eric. Thank you to our listeners for plugging in. And thank you, Eric and John, for your insights. Very informative. You'll want to press play on Episode 3 of this series on Aerospace Defense and Marine Solutions from TE Connectivity. In this episode, I'll be talking with Kyle Witsit, Director of Product Management at TE Connectivity's Marine Oil and Gas Business Unit. They were formerly known as CCON, and subject matter expert on all things related to subsea connection system applications. Until next time, I'm Scott Stemmely, and this is Talking Excellence with TE and TTI. That's it for this episode of Talking Excellence. Join us next time for the podcast that brings together the specialists of TTI with the connectivity experts from TE, an insightful conversation about getting connected. 